Valve absolutely fucked us all. Nothing new here, but let's take a look at how we can prevent further loss and also make money while doing so. So in honor of how great of a company Valve is, I am going to be doing a giveaway on a Battlescard Holo sticker. So if you want to enter it, click the first link in the description, go on my Discord server and join the giveaway there. Also make sure to like the video, hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I post videos. And if you want, you know, hop on over to my Twitch. If you have any questions, I will answer them for you right there live. So peace out and have a nice day boys. Enjoy the video. So, as we all know, recently, on May the 3rd, Valve decided to end the Operation Broken Fang. Three days late, just saying, but okay. Furthermore, on the day that they ended the Operation, they also added the Snakebite case. In this case, there are some very decent classified skins, and there's also the AK-47 Slate, which is an extremely good AK skin for sticker crafts, which will be, in my opinion, very, very popular. But that is not the main issue. The main issue is the gloves that they added into this case, which are the same gloves that are in the Broken Fang case. Now, we all expected this sort of a case to come out. The problem is nobody expected the case to come out the day that the Operation Broken Fang ended. We always talked about selling your Broken Fang cases early because this is a possibility, but nobody really expected this to occur this soon. So, now that it has occurred, we got played by Valve, what can we do to prevent further loss? As we all know, if you're holding Broken Fang cases, you would know that they started falling in price rapidly as soon as the snakebite case was released. This was normal and expected, but as always, over-exaggerated. If you can see the graph, you will see that the Broken Fang case fell all the way to 46 cents at one point, and then just popped back up to 60 to 50 cents, which shows you guys that always in situations like this, when people start panicking, the price will go a lot lower than it's actually should and because of that it will pop back up a little bit now of course the price will not be going up to 80 cents anytime soon but in my opinion over time this case will climb from this 50 cents range that it is in right now all the way up if you can see the shattered web case same thing happened to it but it's still rising why because it has some skins and also the gloves which, yes, now they are in the snakebite case, but still are pretty decent gloves. Now, when we compare the Shattered Web case to the Broken Fang case, we can notice that the Broken Fang case has a lot more better skins than the Shattered Web case, which once again indicates that this case has a bit more potential to grow in price because it is not relying solely on the gloves but it also has some very very decent skins inside of it which make it very very good so for people that are holding any broken thing cases right now i would suggest keep them for long term if you want to see any sort of profit on them or if you really just don't want to deal with the broken thing cases i would suggest selling them off and reinvesting into something else like maybe the Broken Fang stickers. So when I'm speaking about the Broken Fang stickers, of course, I'm most likely speaking about the, the Battles Card Hollow. That sticker is absolutely amazing as we've discussed in previous videos and it is an absolutely amazing investment. Now, why that sticker hasn't gone up in price a lot since the end of the Broken Fang operation is for one simple reason and that is because the snakebite case got released. Always, when there's a new case released, people sell off everything they have. Some people, at least, sell off a lot of their inventories just so they could open that one case or they could do trade-ups from that case to make some sort of profit. Once 
the hype for the case dies down, people actually calm down and reinvest their money into stickers and whatever else they invest in. So if you're currently seeing a bit of a dip in the market for not just the Broken Fang stickers, but also for any sort of cases and stuff like that, it is because of that. And this indicates a good time to actually buy in because after the snake bite case hype dies down then the prices for the battle scarred hollow and also all of the other cases will get back up again this does not mean that the broken fang cases will go back up again they are excluded from this because as the prices for the snake bite case drop down the prices for the broken fang case will either stay the same or tank a little bit lower and further down maybe into the 40 cent range i personally do not expect this case to go below 40 cents but as always it is never known you never know what valve can do so with that being said if you have broken fan cases keep them long term you're gonna make money if you don't want to keep them that long sell them and reinvest them into some other stickers or maybe some other cases as they always keep going up Spectrum cases are safe investments, breakout cases are safe investments, and those kind of cases are always going to be safe investments. Same goes for sticker investments. The Battle Scars Hollow is a pretty safe investment in my opinion, seeing as it is currently fully limited and it has a limited supply, which means it can usually only go up unless the demand really, really falls down for it. Another thing that you guys could invest in right now if you want to sell your Broken Fang cases is going to be other team stickers, maybe the RMR stickers that are currently still on sale, but they are once again very, very long-term investments, so think about that and make an educated decision. Also, some skins are pretty decent investments. I feel like still the Broken Fang Operation Collections are okay investments same goes for the shattered web operation collections as they are a lot better than the broken thing operation collections so maybe pick something from them as they are also very very good investments of course that is if you do not want to keep your broken thing cases for a very long time so with all this being said boys i think that just covers it you now know at least in general what you should be doing to make profit or prevent further loss so don't panic sell in any situations like this try not to panic sell if you caught it first of course if you were one of the first people to notice that the update came in then smart if you sold it at about 65 cents and stuff like that you can even rebuy it right now at about 40 cents and then wait and that is gonna get you even more broken thing cases for a lot cheaper and you can end up making some money like that. But once again, long-term investment. Now the broken fan case went from a very short-term investment to a very long-term investment. And because of that, you're going to have to keep it for a long time. But with all this being said, if you guys have any other questions you might want to ask me, feel free to leave them in the comments below or hop on my Discord channel or I stream every tuesday wednesday friday and saturday at 6 p.m utc plus two time so if you want to hop on the streams i stream on twitch and i stream on youtube as well so you can watch me on either platform come over ask me any questions you got while i'm live and i will answer them for you guys live right in front of you so with all this being said once again me repeating that line for the fourth time, I think, in this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Missed you all, guys, and expect a lot more videos coming from me. So, peace out, and have a nice day, boys.